cataractcoach.com, and we're looking at bimanual irrigation aspiration, a very useful technique to access 360 degrees of the cortex to get underneath the anterior capsule rim. So here we're using the transformer IA handpiece. In the setting of an open capsule, the right hand holds the infusion, which goes through the normal phaco incision, either 2.2 or 2.4, 2.8 millimeters. And then the left hand, or the other hand, second hand, is going to hold the aspirator. So here, that aspirating device is going in with the left hand, and we can access the cortex and the subincisional area opposite that paracentesis. It is helpful if you have a second paracentesis, and if you have a second paracentesis that's on the opposite side, you'll get more access. It's a lot easier to access the full 360. Another benefit here, this is a case, again, with an open posterior capsule, which you can see there. It's very helpful in this case to have the infusion always in the eye. By keeping the anterior chamber fully inflated the entire time, not letting it collapse, we prevent vitreous prolapse. So believe it or not, in this case, with 50% of the posterior capsule open, there will not be vitreous prolapse. So now the infusion's gone and staying in the same hand, and the cortex now is being removed with the aspirator through the second paracentesis. So you can switch hands here if you'd like. You can keep the hands, just move your positioning of them. Either way is acceptable. Here's something different. This is an IV used to give an intravenous line. We got it from our circulating nurse. Retract and get rid of the needle. And then what remains is between a 22 and 24 gauge cannula for infusion. So that is going to be now our new infusion line. So we take out the aspirator from that transformer handpiece. And now we can unscrew this, take off the lure lock. And we can place our plastic IV tubing here. And again, we can match the size, 22 or 23 or 24 gauge. Now that's helpful to do bimanual irrigation aspiration. Many surgeons routinely do bimanual irrigation aspiration through two paracentesis incisions. And in that case, they have instruments, typically non-disposable instruments, that are used over and over again. In this situation, we didn't have that readily available. And we didn't want to use the main incision. We have a sulcus lens placed here, and we want to avoid having any kind of vitreous prolapse. So we want the anterior chamber to be maintained. So what we're able to do is use this cannula on the left hand to squirt around and keep the infusion, wash out any viscoelastic, and also prevent any kind of collapse of the anterior chamber. You'll notice that the main phaco incision is already sutured shut. Now we can hydrate and seal up the two pairs of these incisions, as well as the main incision, and finish the case. So a very important lesson here, and that is you have to be able to think on the fly. And if you don't have a bimanual irrigation aspiration set ready, readily available, it's okay to use things like a plastic IV tip in order to accomplish the same goals. Thanks for watching.